Hello everyone, if you are dealing with a data set where you want to track the step by step growth of a certain product, then you know how important it is to learn cumulative percentage. You can easily determine cumulative percentage by inserting the formula and applying it to all the cells. So this is Jihadrian Jim from Excel Demi and today we will learn several methods on how to calculate cumulative percentage in Excel. In our new case, we want to go for manual approaching to calculate cumulative percentage. We have product, sales, cumulative frequency and cumulative percentage in column B, C, D and E. At first, we have to determine the cumulative frequency. So, we'll select the first value of the cells as the same value of the frequency. But in the second cell, we have to add it. So, we'll select the first result of the cumulative frequency and add the new value of the cells, which is C6. If you hit the enter button, then you will get the cumulative frequency for second cell. Now, if you copy down the formula, then you will get the cumulative frequency for every cell. Now we have to determine the cumulative percentage. At first to make it percentage we have to select the whole column then go to the home tab and go into the alignment option. In the alignment option we have to select percentage to get the cumulative percentage. So at first we will insert the equal sign then we have to insert the first cell of the cumulative frequency and divided it with the total cumulative frequency which is the last cell of the cumulative frequency. To make it absolute permanent we have to press the F4 in the keyboard. Now if you hit the enter button then you will get your percentage. Now copy down the formula to get your perfect cumulative percentage. So that's how you can easily get cumulative percentage for your every cell. In our new case, we want to apply data ranges to get the cumulative percentage in Excel. Here we have again product cells, but in this new case we have range or intervals. To get and apply the data ranges, at first we have to go data option, then we have to select the data analysis option. In the data analysis dialog box, you have to select the histogram option and click OK on it. After that, in the histogram dialog box, you have to select the input range, which is the cells column from C5 to C10. Now, in the bin range, you have to select the value, which is D6 to D10. As you are getting the input, so you have to select the output range also. You want to get your output range in the E4 cell. Now, as you are trying to get the cumulative percentage, so you're gonna tick the cumulative percentage and then you have to press the OK. Then you will see the formula has already given you the perfect result you want to get. That's how you can easily apply data ranges to get the cumulative percentage in Excel. In our new case, we want to create pivot table to calculate cumulative percentage in Excel. To do that, at first we have to select the whole data range by pressing Ctrl plus A in our data range. Then we have to go into the home and select the analyze data option. Now at the right side of the window, you will get your options of the analyze data. Then you have to select insert pivot table option. Now you will get your new file in the new worksheet. In this new worksheet, at first you have to select it and right click on the cell. Now if you select value field settings, in the value field settings dialog box, you have to select show value as option and show values as there is no calculation by default, but you have to select the running total in option. Now press OK to get your perfect cumulative percentage here. So that's how you can easily do your job. In our new case, we want to use the sum function to calculate cumulative percentage. To do that, at first we have product and sales, 
But now we have to get the total option by using the sum. In the total option, you have to press the equal sign and write down the sum formula. And now select the range, which is C5 to C10. If you hit the enter button, then you will get your perfect total sales. To determine the percentage, at first you have to insert the equal sign and insert the C5 cell, then divide it by the total value. To make it absolute percent, you have to press the F4 button in the keyboard. Now if you hit the enter button, you will get your result. Now please copy down the formula to get the percentage for every cell. But our main target is not to get the percentage but to get the cumulative percentage. To get the cumulative percentage, at the very first we have to get the first cell as input but in the second cell you have to take the first result and add the new input with it. Now if you hit the enter button then you will get your new cumulative percentage. Now copy down the formula to get the result for every cell. We want to again use the sum function but with a slightest change. Insert the equal sign and write down the sum function. Now we'll select the C5 cell and now have the range. To make it permanent, we have to press the F4 button. Now if you hit the enter button, we'll get your first result of cumulative frequency. Now copy down the formula to get result for every cell. But your main target used to get the cumulative percentage. So, like the previous methods, at first we will select the cell of the cumulative frequency and divide it with the total value, which is the last cell of the cumulative frequency. To make it permanent, we have to press F4 in the keyboard. Now, hit the enter button to get your first cumulative percentage. Now, copy down the formula to get the final result. In our new case, we will again use the sum function but with the slightest change. In this new developed formula, we want to get the result just by using one column. To do that, at first we will use the sum function and then we have to enter the C5 and the range will be C5. Now if you want to make it permanent, then you have to press the F4 button in the keyboard. Now, you have to divide it with the total range, which is the sum of C5 to C10. C5 to C10. And to make it permanent, you have to press F4 button. And now, if you hit the enter button, then you will get your perfect percentage. Now, copy down the formula to get cumulative percentage for every cell. So, that's it for today. You can use any of these methods accordingly. Hope this will help you. If you have any suggestions, questions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section or you can have a glance at excelimi.com. Thanks for watching us. If you like this video, please consider subscribing us for more content like this.